The town I grew up in was a nice place to live. We had everything any normal town had, and we even had two malls. The reason our town had two was that the older one was getting ready to close. The older mall was constructed in the early 1990s. Actually, at this point in the mall's life, the only reason to go was the small arcade and the theater. It was a midwinter's day when a couple of my friends asked me if I wanted to hang out. We all made our way to the mall. Walking inside that mall was like stepping inside a rotting animal. Darkened shops littered the marble walkways. Only a few had their lights on. We trudged our wet feet through the mall in the opposite direction and made our way to the small arcade on the other side. The arcade itself wasn't impressive by any means. I looked down at my watch and I was stunned to see that three hours had passed. We made our way up the escalators towards the top level of the mall, where the theater was. It was like I was in a place that I shouldn't be. Once we were on the ground floor, we took a moment to scan around us. This felt more like danger to me. We began our trek through the abandoned part of the mall, two of my friends using their phones as flashlights. We took note of the shops that had been completely gutted. Shelves and debris were scattered in and out of the storefronts. Dismembered mannequin parts were strewn about on the floor. One of my friends picked up a mannequin hand and high-fived it before sending it flying further into the darkness ahead of us. We all laughed at one another before a new sound forced us to stop. It sounded like the cracking of gravel and glass. It was such a unique and distinct sound. I stared in shock. It was my friend. He wasn't facing me, but rather looking up at something. I shifted the light slightly and I saw something impossible. Whatever it was, its face was twisted, easily over six foot tall. Its legs were long and narrow, arms dangling at its sides. It didn't seem to be wearing any clothes, but instead had gray skin. Just then, another one of my friends grabbed me by my shoulder, and I spun around and panicked, almost knocking him down, dropping the phone. He told me we needed to leave now, as I scrambled to pick the phone back up. When I turned, but my friend and the creature had vanished.
town I grew up in was a 